Welcome back to Red Hawk Media. Today we start our guest lecture series. Today joining us is Corey Fegestead, alumni of Milton High School and local photographer. He's going to be sharing some of his tips, strategies, and techniques that he uses with his post-production photography. Hi, my name is Corey Fegestead. I'm a 1996 graduate of Milton High School. Uh, in my spare time, I'm a professional photographer doing senior shots, weddings, and families. In this particular picture, we will use the content aware film to repair the cut on her leg. We're going to start out with a new layer. What we'll do is we use the lasso tool to select the area that we're going to repair. Going to go around. We'll go around enough for the outside so you can catch some of the skin. Once that's selected, the easiest way is to just hit the delete button. Make sure your opacity is at 100%. Click OK. Cut is gone. You're going to right click to deselect. And you're done. Now in the second photo here, we'll do a teeth whitening command. And then maybe do a little bit of a skin smoothing. So in the teeth whitening command we will do a quick selection. Enlarge the image a little bit here. We'll go down to the dodge tool. You can set your exposure anywhere from 0 to 100 percent. You can play around with it a little bit. 50 percent might not be strong enough. You can see it's lightening our teeth a little bit. Sometimes it's too much so I mean, once you highlight an area and do it with the brush you can move the slider and see how it changes it. Teeth can be kind of tricky because if you go overboard, it looks like they're glowing in the dark. So, hit deselect. Their teeth are white just a little bit. Go back out. That doesn't look too bad. If you want to do a little bit of skin smoothing, what we can do is we can go up to the blur tool. Set your strength about 70 or 75 percent. Just start dragging across the skin. It'll smooth out any pores that are evident. Again, you don't want to go overboard because then the photo starts looking a little fake. That's about as much as I'd want to do there. So there we did the teeth whitening and a little bit of skin smoothing using the blur tool. Then in this image we will do a eye sharpening technique. Create a new background. Zoom in a little bit here. We'll lasso around the iris. You can either use a quick selection tool or the lasso tool, depending on what kind of edges you have, will depend on what lasso tool you use. We'll see what the quick selection tool grabs here. That seems to be working good.
and we'll go over to the sharpen tool. Eyes can be tricky if you go too much, they look like glowing marbles. So we'll go about 35%. And we'll brush over them. That looks about perfect at 35%. Deselect it. Go back out. And that is the eye sharpening. So here in the last picture that we'll be doing, um, I've included the original image and then the finished image that I ended up with. Um, this being the starting image. An image that a lot of people probably would possibly be scared of trying to repair. Um, he had some pretty severe acne. Um, with a couple quick repair tools in Photoshop, it you can get a pretty decent image. You have to be careful with guys. Um, if you go overboard, they tend to look um, too done, too fake. You, I like to leave a little bit of roughness in the guy's face just because, obviously with girls, you can go to supermodel um, finished look and they're fine with it. I'll do a few of the brushes. Obviously it took quite a while to repair this. Um, I'll go over a couple quick techniques that I used. So in this layer we're going to start out with a new layer. Command J. There's a whole bunch of stuff you can do here. You can do a clone stamp tool to repair um, a certain area that might be clear. You can do a repair brush, a spot healing brush tool, the healing brush tool, um, We'll do the, the spot heel here. Increase the screen a little bit. And using the spot healing brush, when I do select the brush size, you want to go a little bigger so you catch some of the outside of the skin so it knows what it's trying to repair. And you click on it and it's gone. Sometimes when you click on it, it's not gone. You'll see so like a halo around it. So then just simply back up, go to uh, edit, step backwards, and just redo it. Sometimes it takes a little bit of practice. You go around, click on some of the pimples that are here. And you can see already it's clearing up the face quite nicely. And here we have a little bit of a larger area to repair. And that is using the... spot healing brush tool here. Now if we go down to the clone stamp tool, select that, you can start to work on an area area like uh, we'll pick up here where the shadow is. You don't want to select a beginning point to grab that it's going to work from. So the area will always be that spot right there. You basically you'll go over here and you can see a little cross here circling area that it's picking the sample part from. You have to be careful where that's at because so over here you'll grab hair. So you tend to, you don't want to move it around because you can also get patterns that you don't want. Go back, clear up that area in the forehead a little better so it's not getting some of the other pimples. Go back to the clone stamp. Work off that area there. If it starts getting too smooth, like this area here, go up to the opacity and go a little less. You can drop the flow down too. 
cut under about Back to the spot healing, clear up a few other areas. Again with the guys' faces, you go too overboard, it just doesn't look right. depends what they want to. Some guys might like that. This customer here, when I did his pictures, he was quite reserved about the condition of his skin and I was pretty confident I could repair it and they were more than pleased with the outcome when we were finished. Exposure and other things can be done with afterwards after you get all the repairs done. That looks quite a bit better than it was before. We can turn off this layer. That's what it was before. This is after. And from here you can go on and sharpen the eyes, whiten some teeth. Being zoomed in you'll see a little bit more detail than what you would normally see in a printed out picture. If you go back, zoom out, that looks really nice right there. So just because you get an image that appears to be unrepairable and you might be looking at a daunting task, always give it a try. You never know what you might end up with. A little bit of practice. And I could have smoothed out his face enough where I would have gotten rid of all of his stubble on the side of his face here in the cheek and underneath the lip. But I want to leave that in. There, that is that stuff there is clearing up acne. There's the before and the after again.